How's it going everyone? Welcome to another first look. Uh, this time, we are having a gander at the latest PlayStation 5 exclusive. And there really hasn't been many of those, to be honest. Um, console's been out since well, November now, so we're, we're, we're fast approaching like six months or something like that. And really only Demon's Souls in my mind showed off what this this gen is going to be capable of so i'm very very excited to finally get my hands on returnal which uh, we are going to dive into right now i don't know too much other than it's sci-fi it's third person shooter roguelike which is i guess a sub-genre i've not played too much of uh the most recent one i can think of is hades so Let's dive in, shall we? I'm very, 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 very eager to see how this uh, makes use of the technology. I've heard that the haptic feedback usage uh, is incredible. So let's dive in. This is the first time I'm booting this up. Obviously, we're on my uh, dashboard right now, so let's do this. Returnal. I love me some some like horror sci-fi. I, I and this seems to be kind of in that camp. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Now, I've, I've also heard that it's really difficult, so I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not too familiar with the developer. Not sure what other games they've done. Um, ah, we have options. Okay. Subtitles on. Soundbar. Can I change that? I'm not using a soundbar. Is there no headphones? You are using a soundbar. Headphones with 3D audio. Ah, now I don't have 3D audio headphones, so I'm going to be missing out on some of the experience by the sounds of things. Ha! <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but I guess we'll just have to put up with it. And subtitles, English, uh, medium, colorblind mode, no, start in online mode? I'm not sure what the online mode is this, uh, in this is like. I guess we'll just continue, hold. Oh! Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Already, I'm feeling that uh, that feedback. Uh, HDR's fine. Ooh, this is gonna be wild. Returnal is intended to be a challenging experience. Each new cycle presents new challenges, rewards, and changes to the world. Adapt and persevere to progress further. When you die or close Returnal, you will always be returned to the crash site, and all non-permanent progression will be lost. You can suspend your cycle by using the console's rest mode functionality. I kind of get why they're doing it that way. Um, but we'll we'll just have to put it with that, I suppose. I uh, I don't intend... I, well, I don't anticipate that I'm going to get very far anyway. So, begin. Oh, it's already... Oh, that feels weird. God, they feel the thrusters. I wish I could describe what's happening with the controller, but it's really, really cool. Looks like a bit of a storm. <sighs> Graphics on her face, man. Feel the lightning.
yours. Oh, you feel, you really do feel that. That is incredible. So what now? Who are we? Why were we here? And what do we do now that we've crashed? Oh, I feel the rain on my helmet. Astro, this is Celine. I crashed on Atropos. I survived, but Helios did not. Suit status operational, but my sidearm is missing. I'm leaving comms open. Wow. Oh yeah, this doesn't look like a particularly friendly place, Celine. Nice to meet you, by the way. Locate the White Shadow broadcast. So, yeah, the reason I'm making a big deal out of the haptic feedback is because it's the selling point of the console. And really, only Demon Souls and a couple of other games have, have implemented it, you know, fairly well. Um, obviously, Astrobot was the was the showcase for that. Um, the the playroom really <laughs> was a, an amazing experience. Uh, and this looks like, from all accounts and so far, my early impressions is that it's really going to utilize this. So. That's why I'm probably going to be gushing about it a lot. Uh, movement and camera. Okay, we can sprint. Oh, she can run pretty fast. Ooh, look at that lighting. Oh, hey. That's pretty. We've lost our sidearm. And we've got a handy little mini-map on the, on the bottom there. Okay. Got a health bar. Okay, the, well, first of all, there's a giant door here. Whoa. Abandoning Helios. Heading towards White Shadow Broadcast. Overgrown ruins. Yeah, no shit. Investigate signal source. I don't have a gun right now. I feel very vulnerable. Oh, we can jump. Hey, we got a jetpack. Woo, look at that. Okay, some platforming. I'm fine with that. What if, um... I wonder if I missed anything back at the crash site. I suppose we're probably going to be going back there pretty often, though, <laughs> from the sounds of things. Where the hell is my sidearm? This contains extensive ruins of a xenotype civilization. Ancient walls, foundations, and statues. I can't get over how you can feel every drop of rain. That's so cool. And finally, you know, showing off some of the, the graphical power of the console, because I've been playing a lot of cross-gen games lately, and while they do look very nice, you can tell that they're held back a little bit, so actually playing something truly designed for the platform is uh, is something special. Oh, look at all the, the lights and all the weird vegetation. And weird doors that open really, really fast. Okay. Looks like we're dropping down. Can we, uh... Whoa! How did I do that? Is that my... I guess that's my dodge. Wow! Hey, this is... This is a fancy suit. Oh, have we found... Oh. Hello. Who was that? Scout log. Atropos. I have found a deceased Astro Scout here. Checking identification on a helmet. It's... What? Well, that's 
creepy. Hey, my gun, though. It is, and it is my gun. My sidearm. Continuing towards the signal's origin. I mean, she's obviously a little bit taken aback by finding her own corpse. So I wonder if there is, like, a, a time loop kind of aspect to this. I mean, I don't know how they're going to explain the constant coming back from death and stuff. Which sounds like is going to be the case. Uh, hold halfway down to focus aim. God, that feels weird. I guess I shoot that. Okay, well, we got a gun. That's good. Can I can I reload it? Does it need to reload? Some fancy space gun. Alright, well let's uh let's crack on, shall we? What's that? Suit computer. Press the touchpad to access your suit computer. Okay, so we got the map. We've come a long way, guys. I mean, not really. Status. Integrity, 66%. Proficiency. Adrenaline. Obelites. Keys. Ether. Oxygen. Radiation. Pressure. Atmosphere. I wonder if that's important or not. Uh, and stats. We have... We have no stats, really. We don't have much of anything. Equipment. Modified sidearm. SDM8. Astra Pistol for self-defense purposes only. Unauthorized modifications detected. Oh. And Data Bank. Which is... Our, uh... Our weapon. Steel alloy carbon fiber composite. Unknown error. Proficiency level 5 required. Okay, I don't know what all that stuff is about, but let's just get back to... Checking out that green thing over there. Also, creepy. So, oh, they've got horns on them. What is this place? And why am I here all alone? Undiscovered item. Preliminary. Preliminary analysis. Safe to approach. Potentially beneficial. Let's scan it then. Ooh. Silphium. Discovered a potential resource. Positive analysis for suit repairs. Classifying as Silphium. Repairs moderate damage to integrity. So integrity is our health, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's pick it up. Let's actually pick it up. Health! Yay! Okay, so that shit is gonna be useful. And probably pretty scarce. Whee! Oh, that jump's cool. Gonna have to shoot that. That's a red door. Locked gate. A Xenotech gate secured with a lock mechanism. Resource requires a key. Let's go find a key. Ooh! Whoa! That's cool. Uh, oh, we got some things popping up on the map. Looks like we got some more health and possibly... Okay. Oh, are they... Is that another one of my corpses? Oh, they've noticed me. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got our first kill, guys. Whoa, what is that stuff? Oh, shit. Oh, that's a scan thing. Okay. Oh, I, do I dodged into it. Ooh, those things are weird. 
It reminded me of the uh, the machines in the Matrix. What do we have? Undiscovered item. Let's uh, scan. Scout log. Astra Mark 12 data drive containing audio recording. Okay, audio files. Like in every game ever these days. That's fine. Recorded log found. Adding to data bank. Can we listen to it? Scout logs. Scout log. Atropos. Elapsed time. 30 minutes since last crash. Whole areas of this forest are rearranging themselves like a fluid puzzle after each of my... When... Whenever I return, per Astra Protocol, I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal. If you're hearing this, you are stuck here too. Interesting. Ooh. Playing back now. Oh, I just played it back, Celine. I've Scout already listened log. to it. I've already listened to it. Atropos. Elapsed time, 30 minutes since oh, whatever. crash. Let's pick up uh, some Whole areas of some obelite. Very ominous, that. Ooh. I don't remember recording that. No. Some fishies going on. Ooh, we got an orange or a yellow. What is that? Is that just more oblite, maybe? I guess so, yeah. So that's kind of uh, some sort of currency. Ooh, we got a blue. A key! Already! Pick it up. I keep on forgetting that once we've scanned something, we need to pick it up. Right. Can I do a jump and a dash? Woo! Oh, yeah. That is very cool. It feels a little bit like uh, control. Oh, those things are epic. I love those things. Insert the key. Alright, we haven't died yet. We've not died yet, chaps. Dash, oh, well, there you go. And it is telling me to do it in the air, so... Hold for longer dash. Oh. While dashing, you are invulnerable to hazards and most enemy attacks. Iframes. Okay. Hey. Nice. I don't act... Well, no, I kind of do. Back to full. That is a uh, some laser beams. Security system encountered. It's one hell of a security system, and some good shit behind it. Look at the wind blowing the leaves ever. Oh, that is so cool. That's become. That's, I'm glad that that's finally become a thing in video games. You know, because I remember. You know, you play games like Skyrim or whatever, and it's such a static world. It's a gorgeous world still, don't get me wrong, but... I remember the first game I really encountered that was like The Witcher 3. Just everything, like trees really blowing in the wind. I love that stuff. Makes the world seem so much more alive. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be ambushed down here. Celine? No? Maybe not? I don't think I'm going to be getting up there. Oh, wait. That's where we just came from. <laughs> the... Okay. Yeah, that's where we just came from. <clears throat> I really should watch my map. Really should watch my map. Uh, we must have to get up there somehow. Hmm. 
I mean, can't really jump that high, so... Uh... Maybe I... You know what? Maybe I should get back around. There we go. Right, can I get anywhere from up here? Yes. There we go. Yeah, it does feel very much like control, actually, even with the, uh, you know, the powers and stuff. Overload. Oh my god. Adrenaline level 1. Enhanced overload. I really should check that tutorial. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Overload. Weapons on uh, Atropos do not require ammunition, but they can overheat if fired continuously. Oh, after overheating, your weapon slowly recharges itself. You can speed this process up with overload. If you pull the trigger when the indicator is inside the marked zone... Oh, so it's kind of like the active reload in, like, Gears of War? Kind of? I'm gonna have to practice that, because I'm probably gonna fuck that up. Uh, okay! Oh no, there's still more things. So yeah, don't go crazy with the, uh, the firing. So far, these things are not too difficult. What have we got? Oh, ooh, what's this? Ooh! The frick was that? Got a people. Malignant key. Opens secured gates and containers, but is infected with malignancy. Malfunction probability low. Items have a chance of causing malfunctions. Negative effects, so can even inhibit certain actions. Oh, so it's kind of a, a risk-reward kind of thing. Let's pick it up. Let's do it. Oh, no. Suit malfunction. While stationary, minus 75% weapon damage. And do I need to collect resin to fix that? Is that what it's saying? Oh, well, I want to stay on the freaking move then, don't I? Interesting. You know what I think I'm gonna call? You know what I think I'm gonna call those things? RG B weeds. RG weeds? Ooh, RG weeds. Yes. RG weeds. What the fuck is that? Also, hang on, I think, according to the map, I may have missed some stuff. Yes, I did. More Arbolite, which I assume is going to be like how you get upgrades. Because usually the way this, these kind of games work is you, you know, you keep, you get as far as you can. You gather resources, you can upgrade yourself and, you know, do a little bit better each time. That's in theory anyway. Uh, let's go through this door and examine the giant pulsating ball of doom. That looks like a boss to me. Does that not look like a boss to you? That's gross. The noises that are coming out of it too. Piled corpses of a xenotype species. Like oh, yeah. the architects of these ruins. These could be the sentience that broadcasts the white shadow signal. Possibly, but I mean not anymore. Whoa, don't fall down there. I bet you can as well. I bet you totally can. Why are your eyes glowing? Let's 
Stop it. Make me very nervous. Also, not as nervous as that thing, though. What happens if I shoot it? Whoa. That's funky. Now, let's just leave it alone. I bet we, when we come back through here, if we do, that thing's totally going to be like, okay, I'm awake now and I must hurt you. Look at... I mean, I can't get over visually how stunning this is. With a scout log. It is impossible to escape. I have tried everything. I'm always brought back by... There is a moment between death and rebirth when tentacles drag me down, screaming, drowning, returning. Hmm. Quite the predicament, Celine. Yep, another ambush. I can feel it. Oh, I nearly got stuck. Oh my god. Whoa! I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Wow! Here we go again. Returnal. So now the game, I guess, really begins. Eternal return, trophy earned for dying, yay. And I've already experienced this before. I'm gonna say. But didn't we weren't we outside the ship when we woke up? Why are we in the ship now? Also, first person mode. Ship terminals. Helios has two terminals you can use. Main terminal and challenge terminal. Main terminal can be used to view your overall statistics in the ship logs information. Challenge terminal can be used to access the daily challenge where you can compete against other scouts once it's unlocked. Oh! Online challenges? Okay. Suit storage. Oh! We've got different suits. Hey, they look cool. What's the difference between them, though? Hostiles eliminated seven. So these are my stats. Yeah, malfunctions one. Obelites collected 122. Do I still have those? Uh, areas explored, deaths one. I bet, I bet that number of deaths for my... First initial playthrough is going to be pretty, pretty high. Parasites? No successful overloads. Okay. Unidentified item in cargo bay. Removal recommended. Oh. Cargo bay. And ship logs. Oh, wow. Uh... That's a lot of corruption in the text. Some weird language. Speaking of Astra, did you ever see that Ad Astra film with Brad Pitt? It was okay. It was okay. It was very slow. Had a really good bit of scary bits in the middle, though. Um, hmm. I guess I leave. Or, no, I can... 
Hey, my room! It's my bedroom! The abdication of Zeus. Can I rest? Yeah, I changed my suit apparently, but I don't really know what that does. I'm very intrigued though in the in the story. I, I wanna know what's going on. Alright. Suppose we head back out. So that's the main terminal. Is this the challenge terminal? And what is the difference between the suits? Like, why would I not want the 3.0? Tactical suit, prototype suit, scout suit. They must have different strengths. Kinda, I kind of like... Let's try 2.0. Let's try 2.0. Yeah, so this is a little bit different. Obviously, we're starting with our gun. The cycle. Every time you die, you are returned to the crash site without the weapons, artifacts, and resources collected in the last cycle. Oh, that sucks. Your data bank entries and permanent equipment survive from cycle to cycle. Use these permanent items to explore new areas and utilize shortcuts. So I guess my sidearm must be a permanent one then? Because it said weapons disappear, but that we've still got this one, so... Um, yeah, it's a cool looking suit. I don't know what makes it different though. Doesn't really seem to have any obvious stat differences. Maybe it's just aesthetic? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know how to like, you know, upgrade yet. Uh, research progress. Ooh, okay. So I'm guessing the more you find of these things, the, the more that fills up. Right, well let's just keep going, let's keep going. We got our asses absolutely... ...categorically handed to us. I'm scared of fighting that thing again, because I... genuinely I was doing no damage to it, and it hit so fucking hard. Like, oh my god. So, we begin again, Selene. The environment it wasn't like this before. No, it wasn't. Oh shit. Oh, I see the R2 press thing. Okay, I need to keep an eye on that. Uh, I don't need health right now. Or is that health? Oh, undiscovered item. Well, I think I've got something below me. Whoa. Scan this. Sylphium resin. Fills one slot towards max integrity upgrade. Oh. Oh, I see. I think... So there's three slots. We need to find three of those to increase our health permanently. I'm guessing. What's that up there? So yeah, it's going to be kind of... I don't know if it's randomly generated or if there is a reasoning to it, but it looks like things are going to be different every time you go through. Which is good, otherwise it would just be too repetitive. Rep repetitive. Um, oh boy. Adrenaline, level one. Oh, shit. Oh, God, we got some lasers to avoid. Right. Can I swim? Okay, I'm glad that didn't kill me outright, because, because uh, <laughs> that would be the shortest run ever. Um, how do I get those items? 
I wonder if there's an upgrade I get later that lets me swim. Because I can't really get those. Because if I jump in there, I just die. Or I lose a bit of health. Hang on, there's a... Something below me? Or is it above? Oh, what's this? Broken Calibrator grants a small amount of weapon proficiency. Oh! So, let me check that out. Weapons. Uh... Data bank. So equipment. Weapon trait progress, 0%. Proficiency level 5, I have no idea. Do I have to use that item then? Hmm. Zero proficiency. Permanent equipment. I have no permanent equipment. Hmm. Well, anyway. There's a lot of stuff to figure out. Oh, hello. Oh, that was the lasers. There is something... over there. What is this? Oh, it's a chest! Oh, I need a key! Containing for presumably valuable items. Use a key to open it. Ooh, okay. So remember that. Okay, so I can go this way if I want to, but where does the lasers go? Oh, just, oh, they're just protecting some items, okay. Whoa, god damn it, two Vaseline. Large, okay, I need that, good. And some overlay, okay, so... I have 26 of those, so yeah, they just disappear. As soon as you die, you lose all the stuff you collected like that. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how we increase our weapon proficiency. Maybe it is just uh, collecting those things. Info? No. Right. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got too cocky. I wanted to get over both of them in one. There's a new item. A trophy and weapon charger. Augments my weapon with an alternative firing mechanism. Ooh. Alt fire. And then... Oh! Oh, that feels cool. Destroy the growth on the gate. Hey! This will be useful. Hey, is that a, is that a permanent bit of equipment? Can I keep that? <laughs> it is! I think. It must be, right? Yeah, a trophy weapon charger. Sweet. Homing missile, yeah. Oh god. Oh lord. Take it. Oh, wrecked it! And it needs time to charge, which makes sense. You can't just spam that shit. Pressed it wrong. Uh, fucked up the overload. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Let's save the homing missiles for for a big boy. Like, like you? Oh, it's just two of them. There's just two of them. Whoa! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh! 
That reminds me like Half-Life. Oh shit. Oops, accidentally. <laughs> he squeezed the trigger too hard. That's gonna take some getting used to. Oh. Joining the level one. Whoa! Adrenaline reset. Not quite sure what the adrenaline really does too much. Whether it it builds up the more you kill stuff without taking damage, and that means you can do things like better overloads and or don't know. But what I do know is I never want to be grabbed by those tentacle things again. We got a key. All right, so now we can go back to that chest. Let's go do that before we do anything else, because I want to see what's inside it. We also could definitely use some health. I don't see any on the map. Let's get back to that chesticle. Uh, which was over here. Here we go. Could be something cool. Or no artifact. Potentially beneficial. Fractal Nail. Grants 10% weapon damage when you have a malfunction. Oh, okay. I think that's gotta be useful, right? It's not it's not permanent, but for now, that will help us if we do get a, a malfunction. Yeah. Okay. I bet there's going to be all sorts of weird shit you can... you can find. I think what we'll do is... I'll just keep on playing until I die again, and then we'll call it a video. But I'm, I'm very impressed with it so far. I know it's incredibly early days, and this is really all these first look videos are, is just me kind of seeing what a game's all about. Early impressions kind of deal. Um, whoa! What is that? Malignant Obelite Chunk. Large amount of Obelites, but it is infected with malignancy. Xenotech requires. Malfunction probability high. Um, I can't even, yeah, I can't even pick that up. Because I need some sort of tool. That's okay, though. I don't know how I get up there. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, I can't get the big chunks because I don't have Xenotech. Alright, so we've got two doors I can go through. A green door and a blue door. Also, there is a chest up there that I have no idea how to get to. Hmm. Unless there's a way to get to it by doing some platforming. Or maybe you can get powers later on that let you access stuff like that. At least there's some health. Why is there a searchlight? Oh god! Oh god! I can't scan that because that thing's trying to kill me and I'm dead. Oh no, I have a smidge of health left. Oh no, now I'm dead. <laughs> wow, so there's a lot of threats out there. As soon as I jumped down, I was like, what's that searchlight? Crash. Again. Astra. They... Can't hear me. I'm alone. He, he, yeah, very much so, it seems. Okay, well, chaps, I think that will do for a first look at Returnal. What do you what do you think? Are you excited to play this if you're one of the seven people who have a PS5? 
Uh, I am very, very excited to explore more of this. It's going to suck whenever you do die and you lose a lot of your stuff, but that's kind of, that comes with the territory with this kind of game. Uh, I'm very, very interested to see how the the upgrades work, because I still don't quite know how we're going to really make ourselves, you know, better equipped to, to handle the horrors of this planet, but I'm very, very much enjoying this so far. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please do like the video, share it with anyone who might be interested, I don't know. Uh, I Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, all the info's in the description. And I might, uh, I might stream some of this over the weekend or soon, whenever I get a chance. I've got a lot of games on the go at the moment, which uh, is, uh, is not helped by the fact that this looks so good. So, take care everyone. Thank you again for watching. Seriously appreciate it. And uh, yeah, just let me know how, how are you enjoying these first look videos if you've um, you know been around and seen some of the other ones I've done. Uh, but yeah, bye bye for now. See you later. Thank you.